Today we'll find out whether or not a gas generator can run on HHO without modifying the carburetor. First we need to remove the fuel line and the fuel tank. We no longer need this gasoline line. Now we're going to make our own HHO generator using a few common household items. Wait a minute, there lies one of the biggest problems. We don't have a way to control the volume or the rate of HHO being produced at any given instant. And that could be a huge problem for a combustible engine with a carburetor. These are the main components for a carburetor. For our project, we're going to focus on four main components. Liquid fuel or gasoline flows through this line when the float is not at the highest position. The float controlled amount of fuel can flow in for the specific design reservoir. And the reservoir could have different size for a different carburetor. And the capillary tube provides the amount of fuel depending on the engine demand. And again, the capillary tube only provides fuel when the engine is turning or running. When the engine is not running, there is no difference between the two pressure points. So the fuel is not flowing through the capillary tube. When the fuel runs out, the float drops to the bottom. The fuel line and the capillary tubes remain open. The opening of the fuel line and the capillary tubes are the biggest problem for HHO fuel. Since HHO is a form of a gas, it will continue to flow through the capillary tubes whether or not the engine is running. And this could cause two major issues. The mixing of the air and fuel ratio is uncontrollable. And that could make the engine run very rough if it can run at all. The biggest problem is if the intake valve has seating issue, it could cause engine backfire. Since we don't have control over the volume and the rate of HHO production, we may not have enough HHO to continue to supply the engine demand. My conclusion is, if the carburetor is not modified to run specifically on HHO, the engine will not work. But there's one popular video that claims that an engine can run on HHO without modifying the carburetor. How did they do that? Well, I have my version of that answer. Here I have about a half gallon of drinking water. Yes, you heard it right. Drinking water. And I plug it directly into the carburetor. And this engine has no issue running on water.
That is one special engine, or is it? Here's the real answer. The carburetor reservoir has enough gasoline to run the engine for about 30 seconds. And you can modify the reservoir to hold even more fuel. Here we can run the engine with just the fuel in the reservoir. I still believe HHO is an amazing alternative fuel. So leave your comments below on ways you can modify a carburetor to run on HHO alone. And please do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, thank you for watching.